start the vlog, buddy. You missed me almost rip my front bumper off this morning. Oh, God. In front of your shop. You gotta, you gotta start the vlog, dude. I, nobody does it like you do, though. I've tried it. You've seen it. But I, like, you, this, like is, this. this is how you practice. No, because then I just get oh. nervous and I get. What up and get. See, no, it doesn't. <laughs> What's up and good morning, guys? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> oh, my voice cracked. I, I can't do my intro and laugh at the same time. Derek, what are we doing today? Are we finally dropping this? We, we ain't touching that yet. Yeah, you better you better keep that protected. We are, though, however, going to be taking Dedek's parts to go drop them off at Powder Coat. Probably reveal the color to you guys today Hopefully, as well. Hopefully, yes, that is the plan. Because if we're not, then that means we haven't picked the color, which means the, the turbo's not getting done, which means work isn't getting done, and I, that's no. Then we got some other bigger stuff happening today. Dedek don't even know about. We've also got good news for Dedek that Dedek doesn't know about. We got a lot of surprises happening today, Dedek. What's happening today? A lot of surprises. Scares me. Why are you scared? Because what you think is good news for me is really good news for you, and it just involves me, and it's usually not a good thing for me. It's good news for both of us, Dedek. Okay. All right. <laughs> it makes me feel a little better. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna go about our day. I'll, I'll worry about telling you that later. That. I hate you. Why'd you even do that then? He really wants me to tell him what's going on today. I told him for $10, I'll tell him. <laughs> no, you notice the hundred just wrapped around a bunch of singles. <laughs> There's two types of guys that end the world. One that puts a hundred dollar bill around all the ones, and the one that puts the one dollar bill around all the hundreds. All right, I'm gonna let you keep your money. All right, hell yeah. What if I told you I got a brand new KLX 110 that you could buy? Where? Why well, you gotta ask questions though? So all right, fine, can... let's do it. You in? Let's do it. And the greatest thing about this is you don't have to race nowhere to go buy it. There is no rush. Where is it? It may be one that I've owned for a couple weeks already. What happened? We'll explain that later. We'll explain that later. <laughs> All right, we'll explain it on camera. Okay. I found two CRF 110s I'm gonna go purchase today. Okay. Which is, that means I have one KLX 110 that nobody oh, has known about. Oh, <laughs> that you no longer want because you like the, okay, you like the CRFs better, but you know I like the KLX, but you already purchased KLX. Right. Done deal. Alright. Alright, y'all, we've arrived at our buddy Swift Powder Coat. Let's go find some colors for this bad boy. What's up, buddy? What's going on? You ready? Let's do it, dude. Alright, we need we need it done today. No, alright, dude. What time? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Swift Powder Coat way right there. That's pretty sparkly. That's pretty good. Let's go out the sun. Yeah. So again, when de when dealing yeah. with sparkle here, way better than yeah, the sun. It's really hard to go like this flake size matters, everything matters in here, but. That's pretty pretty sparkly there. So what I like about this one better is you don't see the little yeah. little dark spots of flex mm -hmm. because there's less of the speckles. Okay. So the the bass boat, the sparkle, we call it bass boat. It's not even really called bass boat. The sparkle is just like it's silver. Okay. So that's why it looks it'll look darker than that one. I like that For one. Sure, I like this one a lot. Gold. Let's do it. Vegas. Ron yeah. Jeremy. Oh yeah. That's gonna be uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blacks are there. Yeah, so it's not that simple picking black. I've been here a hundred times and be like, Bobby, I just need something black. And he's like, well, which black? That might actually look cool. I see, I'll, that's what I've been thinking, because it's going on the accessory bracket too. I think that'll look cool and stuff like that. Well, then I'm a gloss guy. I know you're a gloss guy. I think that'd be like a cool little contrast with like the glossy gold and then the, they will make the glossy gold pop more. Real. All right, color is picked. We've got the parts dropped off. We know our good buddies over here at Swift are going to get this all taken care of and it's gonna be exciting to see how this thing looks under the hood with black and super Vegasy gold. It's gonna be wild. All right, y'all. Well, we have arrived I'm back with our friends over at Delamo Motorsports. We're making a couple more purchases today. This is very last minute, and there's actually something kind of weird with the purchases we're making right now because I, I didn't really know this until about 20 minutes ago. Thanks to our buddy Chris for letting me know, but we'll explain more when we get inside. We're waiting on Chris to show up right now. Dedek's gotta buy some accessories. Dedek's rocking the super sweet pink Swift powder coat hat. Dedek, you kill yourself on a bike a tenth of this size. Yeah, maybe I need something a little bigger underneath me. Maybe that. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to Del Lama Motorsports. What can we help you with today? Um, let's this is my associate. You look like a two-stroke man. Let's get you on a two-stroke. Don't touch me. My apologies. Six weird. feet. Six feet here. You want to put your arm out so we can gauge this, please? I'm in San Diego. Let me help yep. you out. Give me one sec, okay? All right. Renee, don't trust this guy, man. <laughs> Sketchy looking. All right. So what we're doing today is we're purchasing two more CRF 110s, possibly three. Maybe. Which, as you guys know, these bikes are damn near impossible to get. We somehow got two in the very beginning before the craze even got even crazier for everybody wanting pit bikes. And uh, yeah, it's it's a nightmare to find these things last minute. But Chris did some work today, found us two. And this is a trickle down effect because this works in everybody's benefit here. What did I say yesterday? You that it gets a KLX out of this. No we get more CRFs. And then we got some bigger news that we'll tell you guys a little bit later. I'm just telling Chris how much I appreciate him. No one else notices it, but he does more for, for us than anyone else. Yeah. 
Look at all the work you put in here. It's yeah. true. Making magical things happen. Well, it sounds like good news. What's good news? Uh, good news is that I may ha can get you a third one right now. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Th third one it is. So what we can do is right now he's checking. I'm going to proceed with the two that I for sure have locked down for you guys right now. All right. If he mentions that I can add that third one, I will be able to do so. And then you guys can tell me if you guys want to go ahead and do that. Yeah, dude. This thing's, this thing's you, dude. Am I allowed to get in here? Yeah, you're allowed to get in here. Let me see. Let me, let me do a credit Let's check real quick. quick. Yeah, let, let, you, dude, you don't I let your girl in. You don't. You got to get around and let him in. All, all right. Oh my God. <laughs> Where are we going? Wherever you want, Chris. Wherever you want. Where are we going? To the sunset. This thing, to the a, moon this thing needs a clutch. What do we got? We got stair. Ooh, it's got a. It's got a toggle switch for Bluetooth. It's got a cruise control. I like how it's uh, automatic, but they try to make it look like a manual. Yeah. It's, it's pretty roomy. You just gonna go to drive-in. Yeah. Dude, check out this gear selector though. It looks like they made it look like a gauge. So park, reverse, neutral, one, two, three, four. That's pretty cool. I said when I win the lottery, we'll, I'll buy a bunch of these and we can go have fun. All right. Right, dude. Oh, that, was, that was a big jump, boys. That was yeah, a big jump. Can we just start a GoFundMe right now for Chris? He's really dying to get a Can-Am. Oh, it's got to grab the handle for me. Oh, don't show the paperwork. Oh, don't show the paperwork. Oh, oh, cut. Oh, 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 oh. We're good to go. We're good to go. We're good to go. We, we bought two of them. They're not here yet. <laughs> we pre-bought two of them that are showing up Friday. So we do have VIN numbers for each one that's showing up. So, hey, we'll see you guys Friday. Yeah. All right, y'all. Today is the day. We just got the call. Well, I got the call yesterday that the uh, CRF 110s are over at the dealership. We were just so busy doing the flooring yesterday. We didn't have time to go pick them up. But there's been a little, little secret I've been keeping from you guys. Wrong garage door. Hold on. This one. All right. So, you notice we got Dedek real excited about a KLN. Well, the reason being is hidden over here um, under a bunch of stuff, which we did a great job of hiding, is, nice oh, hold on. We got it, buddy, we got it. it is a brand new KLX 110 that, uh, yeah, we have not shown or nor talked about on the channel. This is actually a gift. I wanted a Honda, but you guys know, bikes are impossible to find right now. We found 110s, um, thanks to a good friend of ours. So I went and picked one up. That's when Zach picked his up and that's when she picked hers up. This one, again, is gonna be a gift or was gonna be a gift, but now that I got a Honda, which is what I really wanted to give as a gift, we're gonna swap them. This one's gonna be Dedex and we're going to pick up two more Hondas though. Now, what are we gonna do with that last one, Chris? We're not gonna tell him yet, Chris. We're not gonna tell him what we're gonna do with that last one yet. What are you doing, chasing a butterfly? Yeah. <laughs> Go get him. No, it's gone. It was a monarch. Now, speaking of these bikes being dang near impossible to get, uh, we got to give a special shout out to some scumbag dealerships out there uh, that know it's Christmas time and know parents are trying to buy these bikes for their kids. So they have been marking them up to, uh, we've seen $6,500 for a $2,800 MSRP bike. Absolutely insane. It's not right, man. It's not right. Doc, should we take the fire truck? I don't think we got any tie down points in it though. And speaking of fire truck, uh, we actually picked that KLX up the same day I picked up the fire truck. We were going to actually throw it in the back of the fire truck because that's like how quickly we needed to rush to the dealership to be able to get it. All right, y'all, we have arrived. Let's go check out the new bikes. Have a seat, Chris. First of all, shout out. Shout out to the homie, Roxon. I got everything ready to go. I just need to do the last inspection on them. And outside? No, I'm fine. Dude, bro, rocking the jeans again. Did it, bro. I, I need I'm trying, all right? I'm trying. Things feel skinny. This is the hardest working guy on the channel now, dude. I know. How do you feel? Yeah, how, how do you feel after a hard day of work yesterday? Dang, dude, you got, you got man hands now. All right, so they're prepping the bikes in the back now, but we do have some parts that I ordered a long time ago. One of which I got from my buddy Chris here as a Christmas present, and that he didn't know, and that he ordered the same thing. It's hard to buy gifts for us and my friends, because we all buy the stuff that we want anyway. But the ones we got for Chris are cooler than the ones he got for himself. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Looks good, man. That's nice. Yeah, I custom ordered them. It took he did, way yeah. too long to get those yeah. in. <laughs> it was funny because they even called him on the phone. They're like, yeah, it should be a week, and then we'll send him out. And that was a month and a half ago. You can't even get mad at me. Who yeah, Daddy tried thing? to tell Chris, like, don't order one, man. Yeah. You don't need it yet. Because yeah. he knew I had already ordered him one. You got a red one? I got a red one. You didn't even know what you got. Hey okay, man, you made out over here today. Shoot. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, we found them? Oh, you got me something else. So, I got your Husqvarna here. Yeah. Oh, no, this one's dirty and broken. <laughs> I don't want that one. Bam. Dang. Right? Sweet. 
So Danny's just gonna do a small walk around real quick. All right. Um, and then we can get you guys going, all right? Cool. All I need is two signatures, and you're good to go, man. Got it. Four, I guess. That's two bikes. <laughs> Easy, guy. What? Here, Daddy, hold it. We, we got a guy in a picture, man. Alright, man. Hey, what's cool, up, bro? Yeah. I got you guys your information, so I'll call you right when I got your guys' stuff for the other bikes, okay? Perfect. Perfect. I like this one better than mine. Why? Brake feels better. Oh, it's 2020, right? Uh, 2021? They're both 2021. And But yours is 2020, right? It's 21. Uh, woo, the seat is slippery. <laughs> Chris is happy as can be right now. See how long before they kick us out now. What? Danik's over here being dad. He won't let us play. We're coming, dad. We're sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Danik. I know some of you guys don't understand why grown men like to play on pit bikes, but I'm telling you guys, <laughs> if you haven't done it, try it. You're going to fall in love with them. I wish I was just filming that right now. Chris almost beat Bryant's record of wrecking a brand new 110. Well, I had it, and then you grabbed the handlebars and yeah, maybe yeah. just throttle more. All of a sudden, he goes, we're over here taking a thumbnail for the video. Chris parked his, left it in gear, and like, I don't know what he went to do with the handlebars, but twist the throttle while it's in gear and starts taking off on him. No, we went to park it. Okay, what happened? Left it in gear, running, and I grabbed it, the throttle, Went. <laughs> the bike started but you, you, you gotta watch out for this crazy guy. Alright, good. You, what's up, Fernando? What's happening? Nice. Top secret stuff, Fernando. Top secret stuff. Boys, let's get these loaded up. Then we gotta go see Dave. Wait, we're short a bike. Ah, we no, we got one bike. We got two bikes. We got two bikes. I hate you so we much. What? You, you, look, you, you looking for your bike? Yeah. Since you just what, came from what, there. What'd you have? Like a KLX? Since you just came from there. It's true. Yeah. So what am I gonna bring your? I don't got room for three. I only got two no, pairs of tie dyes. We've done three. Should you tell him? Uh, what? Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't do this to me. What? I, know. I hate it when you guys do this to me. You know, I'm just like you. I don't like surprises. Don't do that to me. But you still surprise me. What did I surprise you? Yesterday. With? How good you are at installing flooring, man. So I'm impressed. I, should I have done a terrible job then? No. Exactly. I appreciated that surprise, so you'll appreciate this surprise. We sold it for double what we could have. No, that's not a good surprise. That, oh, that's not a good surprise. That's a good surprise. Not for me. I'll give you half. That's enough to go buy a new bike. Okay. Nah, that's not enough. <laughs> Watch your fingers. I'm not tall like that. Long bed life, man. You can fit a lot of bikes back here. Yeah, you could have probably fit three. Then I had to make sure I got these two before I sold you the other one. Oh, I got bars for sale. Bar they, had the, they had the gloves in my size. Dang, look at this. Dedek has almost owned a KLX for about a day now. We already buy parts. They have the green, the green tips too. I like it. I like it. Nice, dude. Well, shoot, we put these on the new, the new CRFs, man. Whoa. This will look good. What? What? Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what? <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Dedek, but we're gonna double check your uh, tie down job here. Ain't going nowhere. Next step of the day, we're gonna go meet up with Dave. He needs a little help carrying some drywall, so I brought him some help. I don't know where Dave's at. He, he's hiding in the house somewhere or something, but I know we, we've been speaking about Dave getting a van. This is this is how much clearance we got. Dave up, has more room. Above Dave's van to park in Dave's driveway here. Chris is about to get attacked by Dave's attack dog. What's up, Charlie? Get him, Charlie. Hey, Chris. Oh, oh, and he's out, and he's out. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, that's Chris. Yeah, that's Chris. D Dave? Dave? Right out? Dave? Right out! Dave! Right out! Dave, Dave in a stack of drywall? Hang on. Tiny? Hello. Tiny! Dave? <laughs> Candy? <laughs> hey! Oh my god, We're that's amazing! You. Yeah. What's up, Dave? What's up, dog? How's it going, man? Uh oh. Well. Yeah, we should probably put that on camera. Whoa, whoa, Chris did. challenged Dave to a jujitsu spar. I didn't no, yeah, that was you exact words. I think it was a challenge. I was there. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> exact words. Oh, oh, I thought I thought it was grapple. Oh, it was oh, time. No. Yeah, I thought this was no, it. No, no. Oh, wait, no, no. Dude, you just gonna 
blindside somebody with some jujitsu? Oh my god. Well, I told him his best chance was sneak attack right now. Should have just he should have got you. I'm ready. So our good buddy Dave today, uh, you may remember this project. We've done some work here in the past on the back deck area over there. Dave's got some drywall work going on over here, and it's just a lot more fun to carry 5A drywall with a good friend. So I brought Dave a good friend to help him carry some drywall. <laughs> It's just the stairs that really make it fun. The, the irregular, ultra steep stairs. Gotta give a big shout out to uh, Busy Bee's permit service. They take the sting out of getting a permit. <laughs> okay. Listen, man, y'all make a great team. I'm starting to think it's, it's Dave and Tiny now, no longer Dave and Rhino. Hey, Rhino, I got a good idea. What do you got? Why don't you, uh. Um. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. Use okay. your knees, Dave. The very first piece oh. that Ryan carried. The second. The second. second. Two pieces. Good job, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. You did a great job. You'll see, I'm gonna edit all the parts of you guys moving it out. Yep. And then I'm gonna put me just moving it. See, what Chris didn't tell Dave was. I'm sure Ryan, Dave's paid, I'm sure Ryan paid for the drywall. <laughs> no, actually, I did not. Don't worry, boys, I got the trash. Dave, you all right, buddy? Don't trip. Chris, watch out. All right, now we're gonna pull the old switcheroo. We're gonna throw the 110s and hide those in the garage. Because again, one of these is a gift. And then we'll take Dedex 110, the KLX that we're giving to him. And by giving, selling, basically. He's just giving me what I paid for it. Hey, little ball. Before we, uh, Bring Dedek's new bike up to the ranch. I actually think he's inside the warehouse here. We're going to, uh, oh, geez, all right, hold on, hold on. It's a little late for this one, and my bed liner is a little, all right, you know what, we just, we're, we're going the easy route here. But he already bought those parts earlier today, so we're gonna get this bike modified before we take it up to the ranch tonight. And I'm assuming somebody's gonna come outside at any point right now and be like, hey, let me grab that bike and help him load it. Probably not. Don't worry, guys, we got it, we got it. All right, Chris, bring it in. Let's let's give Dedek his, his new bike. Well, hey guys, you working hard in here? Yeah, man. Mandate a five minute break. All right. Yeah, the union enforces. They actually get mad at us if we don't take yeah. breaks. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, Dedek, you ready, buddy? Merry Christmas, Dedek. Oh my God. Merry Christmas, buddy. It's an avocado. It's, it's an avocado. <laughs> you, no, you ain't riding it in here. <laughs> That's actually a smart move because yeah, I wouldn't let him ride it in here. Either. There's a lot of drywall in here for him to mess up. Apparently, he ain't gonna let you ride it. He's just riding all the way through the warehouse. Congratulations. Man, I... Take over your new bike. <laughs> well, we'll get... get some money first. <laughs> <laughs> Officially converted to a four-stroke. I, I, I knew you needed them. Guys, we're about to see a big change in Dedek's life. He's been on that KX65, which is a horrible mistake of purchasing. All right, I'm a little concerned. This is a bad idea. I don't know if we should have done this. You're responsible for him, right? I guess. What do you think, buddy? I already love it more. <laughs> I already love it more. It's it's not a that's not neutral. Neutral's all the way down. I, I wouldn't do that either. <laughs> you might want to wait till the rest come down. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. All right, let's see a sit down wheelie. Go. They grow up so fast, boys. They grow up so fast. Oh, well, there goes Chris's truck. <laughs> I turned it around, all right? All right, SoCal Greg A, we're gonna put this on a stick, kind of like the little pony heads on a stick. This is gonna be your bike. Yes! All right. Yeah, I missed my throttle. You're ready for the wheel of death. They don't know what that is yet, guys. <laughs> they have no clue what that is yet. Dedek, are you gonna one strap or two strap for the wheel of death? I may have to go two, no. I. If I go two strap, yeah, I mean, the, the, the new bike's gonna blow up if you go two strap. Right? <laughs> right? All right, we got the bars going on. A little Pro Taper KLX bend. This is the lower bend, not the uh, the XR, which is the higher bend that I have. Should we tell Dedek now or later that you need to cut these bars? No, he wants to keep them wide. No, I'm keeping them wide. He, you want to keep them that I'm wide? Keeping them wide. It's not a VMX bike. You're not doing bar spins. I'm keeping it wide. I want Bro, but these wide. are so obnoxiously wide. Yeah, and mine are wide. We've cut everybody that has these bars to like no. there. No, you cut off a nub that big. No. If I learn how to ride a KX65 Beep. and I was trying to make jumps, I'm not gonna notice the difference of a quarter of an inch off an end of a bar. I'm really not. That's what she said. We're, We're trying to set you up for success, Dedek. We don't want to see you fall anymore, man. That, those days are gone. You got a brand new bike that you now have to take care of, not like your Lexus. Keep snow away from it. Where's the sticker? Oh, yeah. 
I got you, bro. We got to make sure all of Team Cowie over there is running one of the West Workforce stickers. So we're going to get this on the bike. Oh, come on. Dude. This bike didn't even last a whole five minutes. There we go. Perfect. Now, this is the official Team Cowie stamp right there, baby. I feel like that's too far forward, but. Well, you know what? The best way to find out your riding style is just try it out. If it feels good, go with it. If it don't, then change it up. Well, You've been hanging out with Uncle Rick. Uncle Rick Carmichael, huh? Good old with, with that philosophy? Yeah, that's Uncle Rick philosophy right there. So you know what happens when you put new bars on, right? We gotta see a fat wheelie. Because wheelies okay, are a lot easier with bigger bars. You got this. Steady, steady. focus. Oh, 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 oh. All right, it's okay, you know. We all walk a little bit. All right, well, sometimes we walk more. Where's your punch? You need to punch it. Yeah. Just go slow, buddy. You got this, Dedic. Still walking. Focus. Focus. I'm going cross side. Focus. Hey, just think of the, think of this as rubber flooring. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was day zero. <laughs> nope. No, oh, God. Dedic. <laughs> it's tough to watch. Don't use my free screwdriver that came with the grave digger we got from my nephew. With the multi-purpose. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing over <laughs> High-end punch there. The camera's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's really not helping. First modifications done on Dedek's bike. I mean, first was his super sweet work for it sticker, See, but. Obviously, we had to add the horsepower before. Yeah, dude, you're not even gonna fit through that doorway with those giant wide bars. All right, let's see that first wheelie, baby. We got this. No, go towards Chris's truck. <laughs> oh, I tried. Oh my God. Yeah, I was gonna ride it out, all right? <laughs> Chris, you can't put. What was that? Get away from my bike. I heard something crack. Hold on. Uh. Watch my truck. This is like Russian roulette of whose truck he's gonna hit. Thank God mine's not here. How's it feel, buddy? It actually feels real nice, these bars. All right, let's see. Feed on wheelie. Feet on wheelie? That's how we, we tried that before. I looped it out. That was a 65. You're a four stroke man now. Big time, buddy. You gotta pull up way harder than that. Sit back further. There you go, yeah. There you go. Hold on, I've got to figure out how to edit Dedek's face onto Chris. <laughs> Snow's got that. Alright. You like the wider bars? I legitimately feel like I'm Dedek's dad over here. I've got his bike ready for tomorrow. Uh, I got his spark plugs for a 65. I got his gloves because he forgets everything at the warehouse. But I'm excited to finally see Dedek on the track on a four stroke, a bike that he should have bought from the very beginning. And I'm even more excited for the next video you're going to see after this one, which is the Wheel of Death video. Again, we're being very vague about it, but you're not going to want to miss the chaos that the Wheel of Death is going to bring. So with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not subscribed already, please give the subscribe button now that you're not missing out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitbarrel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.